I'm going to share a very short way of how I shared the gospel at the <coughs> chalkboard, blackboard here. I, you, I use a visual thing, and people, there are many ways to do it. Of course, I use it this way because it matches their belief system, and I will tell you why. This is what I draw. I say there is heaven and there is earth, and in heaven, God created man, and I always draw God with a big heart, which reminds him that God is love. Remember, in Islam, God is not love. And God is love, and he created man to be with him and have fellowship with him. And when he was with God, there was no suffering, there was no death, there was no sickness, there was no uh, uh, desperation, no addiction, no depression. Man had everything because God gave him everything. But then, because God loves us, he gave us a choice. If we don't give a person a choice, then you really don't love them. If you put them in a room and lock the door and say, I love you and you have to love me, that's not a kind of love. Love by force is not love. So God gave human beings a choice. He said, you can stay here. You will have eternal life. You won't have to get sick. Everything you need will be here and you will have a relationship with me, but it's not by force. You can, this is an exit door and you can get out. The exit door was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So there were many trees, but that was the exit door. And one day human beings say, well, I want to get out of this relationship, even though I have everything. And that's when human beings fell from the presence of God. And that's we are here. We are on earth. We are not in heaven. We are on earth. And this is a very important thing to, to mention, that when human beings separated from God, we became miserable because we were, we were joyful when we were with God. Now we are not joyful. We, we had eternal life. Now we don't have. And so we became miserable and we made our families miserable and we made our society miserable. The reason there's so much suffering in this world is because of you and me. See, that's a different theology because in Islamic theology, the God is the source of evil on earth. He's making the bad things happen to people. And in Christian theology, that's not true. It, it is our, our fault. He actually, he is our savior. So make it clear the reason we are suffering, you are, are, are suffering, the reason the world is like this because of our sin, our separation from God. Now, human beings realized I need to get back. And God sent some prophets and humans also created their own religions to try to go to the right direction. This is like a ladder towards God. It's, there's a good things. Religions are good things. Philosophy are good things. And that, they're just showing us a way how to get back to God. They're good, but they're not enough. They, your religion may be better than mine and have better things, but none of us can get back to God. And I ask them, have you ever done perfectly in, in your own belief? I don't say about Christianity, about your own belief. Oh, well, I, I, don't, I don't believe in, uh, I have my own belief. Okay, according to your own belief, have you ever been perfect all the time? No, nobody is perfect. You're right. Neither am I, neither you. So all of us are, are not perfect to be with God. You have to be perfect. And now, because you and I are not perfect, none of us can reach God. Even if I try our best, we can never be perfect. So we can never reach God. So religions are good, but they're not enough. They did take us to, to God. So here, question, God is love. And he, saw our, he sees our suffering. If you see somebody who you love is suffering, would you do something for them? Oh, of course. That's, that's the meaning of love. If your child was lost, would you go out and try to find him? Yes, I would. So do you think God's love is less than you and me? You think our standard is higher? If you and me as loving people would do that to people who we love, don't you think God would do the same? Yes, God is better than us, not worse than you and me. And God said it and he did it. He said, you guys, I love you. I see your suffering. I, I know your depression. 
I know your loneliness, but I love you. And, and you can't get back to me through religion. But so let me do something. Let me come down. And God, as he promised, he said, I'm the spirit, but I can put on flesh of man. I can become like a man. And I will. And I, I will come. And I will not come to give you a religion, but I give you a savior. I'm not going to give you a prophet, but a savior. Jesus was not a prophet, was a savior. If you're looking for prophets, there's so many out there, but none of them, they're good, but they're, none of them will get us to God because you and me are perfect. It's not the problem of the religions. It's my, our problem, your problem, my problem. And because of that, God so loved us that he said, I will send you a savior. You and me need a savior. We don't need a religion. We know we are miserable. We don't need anybody come and tell us, oh, you're, you're bad, you're bad, you're bad. We know. We don't need that. We need somebody to can come and, and save us. God loves you and wants to change your life today. See, that's another thing. In Islam, it's always, oh, be good, be good. Maybe someday, God willing, God will accept you even in heaven beautiful thing about the message of Christ is for now, for today. Salvation is for today. So I boldly proclaim that, that this is for now. If today, if now you receive that message, now your life will be changed. God will come into your life. Your heart will be changed. Peace and joy will come. Are you ready to do that? And I use Ephesians many times, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13 for an invitation. I said, Let, let's read this verse. It says, when you heard the gospel. Did you hear the gospel? This is, this is the good news. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Now, let's see if you believe that, what happens. It says, if you believe that, you will be in him. He will accept you. He will save you. And he will give you his Holy Spirit. So you have done the first part, hearing. If you do the second part, believing, here all the things will happen to you. Your salvation, the Holy Spirit will come. Do you want that? God is ready right now. He can prove it to you. That's the invitation. Do you want life right now? That's a simple way of sharing the gospel. Now I pray as we go out, we love Muslims. We share the simple message of the gospel. We all will see much fruit for the kingdom. Don't be afraid of Muslims. Love them. Let's go out and be Jesus for them. Be Jesus to them. Let's go out and be good news to them and share the good news with them. Many Many Muslims are open and ready to hear the gospel. Let's do our job. God is doing his part. Let you and me go do our part. And one thing, he promises, when you go, I'll go with you. He will come and confirm his message with signs and wonders and miracles. Just believe that and go.